Let's consider two statements. Number one, if fx is concave, then x star is a max if and only if it is a stationary point. Number two, if fx is quasi-concave, then x star is a max if and only if it is a stationary point. The first statement is true, but the second statement is false. For any concave function, the line joining two points on the graph never lies above the graph. Hence, for a concave function, f double dash x will always be less than or equal to 0 for all x. It follows that even at all the stationary points, you will always have the double derivative less than or equal to 0. So graphs like, for example, minus x square minus x to the power 4, you can see that the stationary point here is definitely the point where you will have global max. The same case happens here. x equals to 0 is a stationary point and it will be the point of global. This is because minus x square and minus x to the power 4 both are strictly concave functions. A quasi-concave function by definition itself is a function which is like concave but it doesn't have to follow the strict definition of concavity. Quasi-concave graph can have a lot of irregularities. A concave graph has to be a perfect doom, a perfect hit. A quasi-concave function can also have some bumps. It can have some convex parts as well. In fact, any increasing or decreasing function of one variable satisfies the definition of quasi-concavity. But that might not be the case with concave function. X cube is a strictly increasing function and hence it is quasi-concave. Now the graph of x cube goes something like this and x star equals to 0 is the stationary max. This is in fact a point of inflection. Point of inflection is a point where concavity changes. 